Hey there guys, it's Nick here, and today I have a couple unboxing videos. Oh yeah! Yeah, this is going to be awesome. Um, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two, two separate videos. Um, I'll tell you about it later. Um, so, as you see here, I have two boxes. Got a small one, got a big one. Which one do we want to open first? Uh, you guys want to see the big one, don't you? You're killing me. Um, I have to find my freaking uh, box cutter. If I don't have that, I, could, I guess I could just use my uh, key. Uh, hang on a moment here. Uno momento, por favor. My Spanish is getting better. That's good. Okay. Um, I don't see it. So let's just use the key. Or try. Die trying, right? Okay. Open the big box first. There we go. It was funny too because I went out to check the mail and right as I walked out the door the mailman comes. Oh, here's your packages. So good timing, right? Okay. So this is something that I used to own. Traded it for something else and I regretted it for years and years. Some people wouldn't understand why. But uh yeah. It's uh so this time I don't plan on letting go of it, you know what I mean? Um if I could get this freaking thing open. Ah. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see what's inside. I'm excited. Okay. So, hmm. Nah, I don't want to show that part off yet. Not yet. Not yet. I gotta show the main event now. I mean, if I, if I don't, it's not gonna be good for anyone. Okay, so, drum roll please. Unless you're watching this at night, then don't wake people up. Unless you're the only person in the house, then that's fine. I mean, if you wake yourself up, come on, what's the big deal? Anyways, I got an Atari Jaguar. Yes, I found one of these at a Goodwill many years ago, Ended up tra and I didn't even own it that long before I traded it for a 3DO console. And years after that, I was very sad with myself. Um, but of course I had no job to get one or anything. The only shitty thing about the Jaguar really is that it's gone way up in price. This thing cost me 400 bucks. Yeah, and if you think that's bad, well, we'll see what's in the other package in a minute here. But um, The only thing is it doesn't have the AV output cord. I'm going to have to, it uses a special one, so I'm going to have to order one of those. Those run about 30 bucks. And here's the controller in case you haven't seen an Atari Jaguar. Um, and in case anyone asks, I have zero, despite owning one game for it, I will never buy a Jaguar CD, or at least I have no plans at this time to buy one. They're way too expensive, and they don't work. So why would I try it? Even, you know, I could probably have my dad look at it, but if that one guy, James, hired an uh, angry video gamer, hired, can't even fix it, then what's the use? Of course, this is like the Intellivision. Again, we got the keypad and everything, and CV, A, it's weird that that goes from C to A instead of A to C, but whatever. Get your pause button, your option menu. Um, this is just a really weird looking uh, controller. Now, fun fact, um, I don't know the company offhand, but uh, there's a piece of dental equipment that actually looks exactly like the Atari Jaguar, and that's because I guess apparently um, Atari um, sold the design rights or whatever to, uh, they sold it to some dental company, I don't know. This thing is kind of awkward to hold, but I, I think it's something you can get used to. Now, as stupid as it may seem, I actually bought the Jaguar for this one game. Actually, there's a second game I want to play, but um, we'll get to that some other time when I can afford it. Um, fortunately, I've not been fired from my job yet. In fact, I'm getting overtime, so I'm just thanking God for that. Um, seriously, like, thank God. Um, and I figured, hey, if I'm going to play this thing a lot, then I guess it's worth the 400 bucks. I mean, that's, that's probably about how much it was back in the day anyway, right? Like with inflation and everything. It's probably the same price. <clears throat> this thing. I don't do enough unboxing videos. Come on. Um, I was actually supposed to get another game today, but uh, it didn't look, doesn't look like it made it. So that kind of sucks. But, oh well. Um, I'll get it tomorrow or Monday or whenever I can get it again. And the controller fell on the floor. Crap. Ah, jeez, my, my, my fingers hurt.
hurting so bad, I'm like having to press the freaking key against the thing. My box thing. I don't know. Anyways, um, actually, I didn't think the box was going to be this small. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. Um, if I could get this last freaking part cut out here. Ah. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah. Throw that away, throw on my bed for now though. And it does come with, whoa, whoa, came with two controllers, that's cool. Um, we got, yeah, hang on, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, so instead of the AV, uh, AV cable, I, um, I got this really weird looking RF thing. I just hope I'm able to use it. I think it's just a simple like plug-in thing, right? Yeah. In fact, I could probably use my NES one. That would actually be a lot better if I could. Um, and then here's what I ordered with it. This is a factory sealed copy of Wolfenstein 3D. Now, I'm about to do every collector's worst nightmare. I'm about to open a factory sealed game because I didn't pay a hundred bucks for this just so I could have it sit on my shelf and look pretty. Bullshit. No. Okay, this shit is meant to be played, and if people don't like it, it's my copy. Okay, get your own. Um, not to be a jerk, but there, there's some people who will be like, I can't believe you actually opened that. It's like, what'd you expect me to do? Not? Yeah, don't, don't be crazy. Um, I just have to find out how to open this without, like, ruining it. <laughs> I don't want to damage the box. Ugh. Oh, there it is. And see, it's not even completely sealed. Like, the kind of, like, see, it's kind of opened up here. I don't know if you can see that because my camera quality sucks, but, yeah, so, it's not even completely factory sealed, so, you know what, I don't care. No regrets. Yeah, Metal Jesus is probably like, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, though, this shit is meant to be played. I'm going to freaking play it. I do plan on finishing the whole freaking game, okay? So, um, here's the back. It's pretty cool. Got some good screenshots. Um, gonna open this up. I'm trying to remember what games I had when I had my Jaguar originally. I remember one of them was, uh, not Cybermorph, but, uh, that could have been one. I can't remember, but, uh, one I remember having was Tempest 2000. That was a pretty good one. So, uh, let's see. We got our instruction booklet. Look in there really quick. Um, Just looking at the credits here. All right, um, got that. That's cool. Um, we got a couple things come with it. That's cool. Everything's cool. <laughs> um, we got the game here. So this tape. These these cartridges are really interesting looking. They look like one of those like old Japanese like architecture things. I don't know if that maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know. Yeah, people people are gonna hate me for opening a factory seal game, but I don't care. Um, so the game has an overlay. It doesn't have two overlays, and only has one. So again, it's like the Intellivision. It's got an overlay. Um, get a closer look at it. So uh, where's that controller that fell? Yeah. Put that. Let's see if I can figure. Out. Okay, there you go. So you slide the sides in. These little sides poke out. I didn't know that. I thought it was just like the Intellivision where he slid it in from the inside, but then he kind of got to push in inwards a little bit. There we go. Oh, oh wait, no. Just made a bit of a mistake. There we go. And, uh, there we go. Looks cool. Um, so, oh, and the, the game, of course. I'll show you the game. There you go. There's the game cartridge. Really cool looking. Interesting looking for sure, but there you go. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be playing some freaking Wolf 3D, assuming this thing works. It, they said, the seller said it works, so here's the hoping, right? Okay, uh, so I will be back with you guys in the next part. I'm going to uh, hook this thing up and see if I can get it working. Peace out. God bless. Have a good one.